Chennai, we don't need much motivation. I think uh, playing obviously for Chennai and being part of something um, that's pretty big, not just the team, but uh, Tamil Nadu and, and Chennai and the history of Chennai is very important. So that's one that's motivational enough. Quite quickly getting to know each other within the team um, because the ultimate is when you play for each other. So we often talk about selfless and selfish. You get players that are being selfless and always thinking about their teammates and what they can do, then that helps and that gives a feeling of wanting to play well and wanting to, to have success. We're trying to create an environment where we train and, and we talk in a way that allows them to be at their best because they play to be at their best. They want to compete against the best and they want to be one of the best teams. And uh, that's the motivation. They want to be tested. Um, they want to be encouraged. They want to be loved. But we all want success, so we're all doing the same thing. Uh, if we get that right, moving together in one direction is very powerful. Well, we, when we sit out, we try and pick players for certain roles, and the communication with players is very clear. We, we don't buy just a group of players and then make up a team. We're very definite about the type of player that we want, uh, and in particular, the type of person and personality we want because we see that being just as important as the skill sets that they bring. So this year is no different. We've got um, obviously players playing well in certain positions, but there have been cameo performances as well. And I think that's just born out of a desire to do well. You watch MS Dhoni finish games and you aspire to do that. Uh, you look at Raidu and Rainer and the way they've batted. Um, Rainer over years, Raidu this year. Shane Watson with his professional performance, that, that, that's contagious to others. So when they come in or get the opportunity, they want to do well. And we're really big on watching and, and, and understanding what players are doing, our own players in particular, so that the younger players can learn and even some older players can learn different ways of doing things. And, and last but not least is, is trying to stay calm. And that's very much a mantra of, of BMS and uh, I try and preach that as well, is to be calm enough to assess the situation uh, and then just give it a go. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. But if you're clear of thought, train well, then you give yourself the best chance. And we've seen a number of players this year take that chance. Well, rodu has been outstanding, and you're right, he's a very shy guy, but within the side, he's, uh, he's got a very strong personality, not through voice or uh, being demonstrative, it's through performance and the way he trains and goes about things. He's, he's very passionate. You don't see him, but the way he talks, if he gets out or what he wants, or you see him in the, in the middle um, gesturing and posturing around, he, he's very passionate about what he does, but it's hidden behind a veneer of being quite shy. But I tell you what, inside is a burning desire to do well and given the opportunity, a consistent opportunity, he's, um, he's at a point in his career where he's ready to grab it so we've been very lucky that the timing's been right and, uh, and he's just performed exceedingly well. The way in which he's doing it is, uh, is top class and this could be another opportunity for him to move forward and maybe release the potential that we know he's got. Well, when you've been involved in it for, for a number of years, um, you don't take it for granted, but um, you realise just how important it is. When you get players coming into CSK for the first time and watching their expression and seeing the passion, um, certainly from the fans, it is a, a reminder of how valuable it is. Yep, we got a taste of it in the first couple of weeks, uh, the warm-up games, as you say, and the first game we played was uh, was phenomenal. It was almost feral, fever pitch, um, driving the bus into training, and and experiencing the practice game of 15,000. But to be honest, every game feels like a home game and that's probably even more important than having your home ground full every time. But you look around, whether you're in Delhi or Hyderabad or Bangalore, uh, even in Mumbai, it's almost 50-50 with yellow and blue or yellow and red. And, and that's the most amazing feature is that not only is Chipuk or our home ground or Pune this year full of yellow, it's, it's the effect of other grounds, your away games that um, that I think make just as much difference. So they have support all over India, um, obviously hugely influenced by Ian Estoni, but the team itself has got a, a large following. Um, it does count, it certainly counts with the players. And again, we don't take it for granted and the trains are just a small symbol of how much support there is. We know when we've played badly, we get the <laughs> messages, uh, but equally we know when we've played well. So um, it's a big part of CSK. They talk about a family and a, an area of support. Cricket knowledge is great. Um, the fan supports even better.